everybody. Here we have the board to the 888S in its simplicity. So we need five points of contact to this board. Starting with the ground, the RX audio, the TX audio, the push to talk. You can either grab it here or here. What I've found is if you run the wire across to here, you get a bunch of noise. So I just started putting it here, and this actually cleans up a lot of the noise. If you want to be able to control the volume by the volume knob, you put it here. If you want to control it by the software, you can put it here. I like to make the simplicity, so I put it on the volume knob. This controls the volume over the network. If you put it here. You flip it over, and you've got one pin on the back side that you need to connect to. This is your COS or core. That connects right here, and we'll get to it. So, there's already a little bit of solder on there. So I'm going to take my, I've got a cheat sheet here, wires that I use using cat5 you don't need too much of it exposed actually I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit because that is quite a bit for this side of the board so there you go shouldn't do it off camera but there's just stripping the wire down a little bit so there's not much to it it's just stripping it back um, I just spent a greater part of a half hour trying to do this with solid wire and it was a pain in the ass so um, not doing with solid wire anymore this is actually just a strand wire and that's what I recommend. The other wire that I was doing at that was solid. It just kept sliding right out of the, the solder. So it was a pain in the ass. Absolutely want to make sure that you're not touching anywhere else and you got a good connection which this I don't like so I'm gonna just Fan of the way that came out. Yeah, that made a mess.
That's good. That doesn't look too bad. Alright. So, that one being done. I always connect the wires that I know where they go to first. I know where the push to talk goes to and I know where the ground. I always get the RX and the TX confused, which you can always change later if you grab the wrong place. So, I'm going to have mine come out right here. So I'm trying to make sure all the wires kind of coincide with this corner. So I'm going to pull them out the other side here. I need the most out of the brown because the brown is going to go the farthest. The brown is going to go to the middle. And my ground is brown. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to try to make that a connection point. Good enough. I always try to give them a little tug. Alright. My push to Push the top. Let me get everything resituated here. Sorry. Not one for editing. I hate editing. It doesn't give you the full effect when it's not edited. When it's edited. My green is my push to talk. So I'm going to pass a little bit of that back through. Green is the push to talk. I don't think I don't think I use the green or the green with the white. I don't know why I've got that. This is my push to talk, and I'm going to tin it up a little bit here, get a little bit of solder on each of these, I should have did this before, it helps a little bit. Alright, so the green is going to go to the push to talk circuit. And like I said earlier, you've got two choices. This is one that we found is actually not that noisy. Man, I made a big, big, big glob. But I think it will hold. Alright, so there's the three that I absolutely am sure for sure about so the blue with the white is what I'm using for my RX and the RX audio I just heard something pop I don't know what popped okay so the RX audio, if I can get it to freaking focus, is right here. Like I say, I like making it to where people can use 
volume knob to be able to adjust the audio to us. I keep taking it off. And then last one on the board here is the TX audio. Bend it back right. And place it to where I want to. So that one went through a lot better than the last one I did. Just double checking to make sure that it's not getting in contact with anything else. It's kind of close, but it's not. And then that's in there. And what uh, my buddy Lee did was took a little bit of hot glue here. I actually have a hot glue gun. And we're just going to put it down under that. that wire right over that mic. I'm going to just tack it down with a little bit of a hot glue here. It's going to take a while. So while this side's getting it all hardened up and stuff, I'm going to thread the, the other end through this hole right here. That's one of the reasons why you see all the wires are bunched up right there. Look at that fucking thing popped right up. Shouldn't be doing it right on those contact points. But oh well, I think it'll stay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna fish all the extra. 
extra wood through You guys can hear the radio charging in the other room or not. But they're, and they're shooting the breeze. And now I'm being called. I'll have a radio in here. That's why I don't want to leave the radio on sometimes. Alright, so that's on there. Now the fun part is to put the board back on. You got a couple things you got to do to put the board back in there. And that's a little bit tedious sometimes. Because this is going to be lined up just freaking right. We have to go back in that hole. get the ground wire back in there too. The ground wire is a little fun. If you look down inside, I can get it, I don't know if I can get it. If you look down in there, sorry for the bad focus. If you look down in there, you gotta line it up just right to get the darn thing to poke back through. There it goes. Alright. So there's the radio side of things. Connected. So after this is done wired up to it, you slide the case back on. And uh, you slide the case over, and now we're going to move right on over to wiring up to the rim. If you notice, the rim actually says 2 through 16 on this side with this uh, copper thingy right there and the big board. And 15 through 1 on the other side. So... I have a cheat sheet written over here of what I need to go to. So, I'm going to start with the push to talk. The push to talk is pin number three, and that is going to be my green wire. Pick a side that you want it to come off from, and let it go there. doesn't need to be very long but it does work all right so I'll throw a little bit on there pin 3 so pin 3 would be the second pin in and it's already got access on there this is a a remake uh, pin three. Three. Let's see if I can trick it into a zoom in there. Pin three. There. 
There it is. And then pin 7 is my ground, which is brown. Gonna kink this all the way over. The other wires are all going to go on the other side of the board. So, I'll kink all those over there. No, wait, there's one more on this side, so I'm going to put the brown wire to pin 7. Ground is pin seven. All right, and then now there's the fun part. If I got this backwards, all I need to do is switch two and eleven with the blue and the white wire, which I think is right, which I could be wrong. The blue and the white wire need to be on this side as well. I'm gonna hike that over here. This needs to be on pin 11. And like I say, if you if you turn this thing on and you got no audio, you got two and eleven backwards. Simple switch. If you key if it keys up the radio and you got no audio. That's what happened. If it keys up, if it doesn't key up the radio, then you got a little more problems than just two of them switched. Now the remaining two are on the other side. So. Alright, so starting back to the cheat sheet here. TX audio is the brown or the brown with the white. Yep. The brown with the right is the TX audio, which goes to pin two. So the very first book pin on the other side. So and last but not least. Our blue wire here, our core, which is trusty rusty pin eight. Core or COS, whatever you want to call it, is going to be pin eight. Two, four, six, eight, right there. There 
it is. All right, there you have it. It's just like that. They're all connected. Double check them, make sure you like them. Like I don't like that one, so I'm gonna do that one. I'm just totally butchering this at this point. There we go. All right, that'll work, I think. Let's see, I'll give it a test here. Nope, I got moving wires. Yeah, it slid right out. Excess wire that I don't really need. So I'm gonna snip it down. I'm just gonna put a little bit of solder on it. this wire back underneath here. Instead of jumping everything. make sure you're not bridging anything which I'm pretty sure I didn't but I'm gonna just make sh double sure so I scraped it away I could probably do that one better but I'm not going to I mean it's all right all right so there you have it both the wire yeah, at this point, what you would want to do, like I say, you slip this completely back on. You slip the case completely back on it.
slip it back on there. Grab a battery and test it out. 